Alright, what's going on guys? So, as you know, there are a lot of real weirdos out there in the world. You might not realize it just from your day-to-day -day life, but it all exposes itself on the internet because the internet provides these people with an anonymous shield to just say whatever they want with little to no repercussions for their actions. So a lot of the inner weirdness of these people tends to come out on the internet, whereas it's more suppressed in real life. So with that being said, I have gathered some of these comments from all around the world and I think we should take a look at them and really use it as an educational experience of how not to act. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. Let's start off right here with a Facebook post from Sasha Gray, alright? She decided to update her profile picture. Now, I'm going to have to assume everyone knows who Sasha Gray is because it's pretty relevant to the conversation that's about to occur. But if you don't know, Sasha Gray is uh, basically like the Thomas Jefferson of porn stars, alright? She's a real pioneer in the field, you know what I mean? So, the first comment on her updated profile picture is not the worst thing ever dropped on her face and you know you ain't wrong with that one you're not being very nice okay you know you're being rude but no lies detected now Eugene did not appreciate these type of comments on Miss Gray's post, he was fired up, so he had to go ahead and let everyone know she is a human being. Threat her with respect. Treat her like it's your mother slash sister, because face it, that's the truth. Maybe you do not see your sister in those poses, but just because she works in a taboo industry does not give you the right to become jerks. 827 likes. I'm sure he's feeling real good about himself, but I just can't agree with your comment, man. I, I really would feel very weird treating my mother slash sister the same way that I treat Sasha Gray. I think that would be quite inappropriate, don't you think? I think this guy's response just perfectly explains it. I don't even have to do anything, so uh, let's just see what he had to say. My mother didn't swallow buckets of cum for a living. You cuck. Alright then, well, next up on the agenda, we have Miss Hannah, who decided to post her dress for sale in a Facebook group. Brand new dress, never worn because it's too big for me. Fit size 10 to 14. Super stretchy material, $20. And the first response to this post was from Leo, who shockingly was not interested in buying the dress, but he did indicate that he was interested in smashing. I have to agree with Mr. Leo, and it seems five people also agreed with Mr. Leo, but I also would be interested in smashing. I don't know if that is available for $20 as well, but this is where the noble Eugene steps into the conversation, or in this case, his name is actually Benji, not Benji. Benjamin, not Ben, Benji. What exactly do you mean by that? Are you trying to say that you would have sex with this woman? That is gross, and a gross way of saying it. Seriously, you are pathetic. I think you are forgetting that no, you wouldn't smash. This woman is probably so far out of your league, you wouldn't even touch. In fact, I imagine that if you are stalking Vic deals saying stuff like that, the most intimate human contact you've received lately is using a public toilet when the seat is still warm. Enjoy your loneliness. P.S. Beautiful dress, smiley face, nine thumbs up, Benji's feeling real good. I found the end of it quite disturbing. He was very detailed about that whole toilet seat thing. It seems like he might have been speaking from personal experience, but I guess Benji here got exactly what he was looking for because Sarah responded, I adore you, 
Benji. And then he responds with, right back at you, my love. That's it, bro. You're in. That's it. Did you hear that? She adores you, bro. You're in, bro. You smashing. She adores you in the same way that she would adore a cute little puppy. She adores you. You know, you got this, right? But this is where my man Leo came back in with the fire. This is what we call a KO. Excuse me, Ben. I am sorry you took my comment serious. I understand the purpose of your comment was to win female approval at the expense of your dignity, so I am not particularly offended. God damn, I think the best part is he went from like straight up bro talk, he's like, yeah, wood smash, and then he just turned into an intellectual who has just demolished Benji's soul. So shout out to my guy Leo. And as far as Benji here, I mean, I don't know what else we expected from a dude's name who's fucking Benji. Moving on, Eugene decided to tell everyone on Facebook about his trip to the mall today, so let's see what happened. Me, watching 19 to 20 year old grope his girlfriend in the mall. Stop that, men do not grope women in public. Oh, okay, I think this started out pretty normal, right? Just a typical day at the mall. Just decided to watch this couple making out or whatever the fuck they're doing. That's pretty normal, right? Anytime I see that, I also start watching them as well. I even pull up a chair and sit down right in front of them and enjoy the show. Maybe even pull my cock out a little bit. You know, not all the way or anything. Just a little bit, you know, just unzip and slip the tip out. You know, tip hanging out a little bit. You know, that's all. Nothing weird. Him. Him. Fuck off, dude. Okay, hold on. We need to acknowledge something here. Am I the only one who, after reading the first part, didn't realize that this guy apparently actually said that out loud to them? I didn't realize that he was saying that he actually went up to the guy and said that, and I find it very hard to believe that this actually happened, but me now talking directly to the girl. My name is Eugene. Try to remember it if you ever need anyone to break his leg. <laughs> All right, bro. Come on, man. This definitely did not happen, dude. You're not tough. This post has 37 likes. Are these people retarded? Who liked this? Did anyone read this fucking post and be like, yeah, that happened? I'm sure this happened. Oh my god. What a fucking hero. Come on, man. You jeans are so weird, bro. We need to have like some scientific studies done on their brain because there's no way they have the same brain as me. You know what I mean? Like this whole situation would never even occur in my mind. I would just never even think like this. So I just feel that Eugene's are truly built differently than a normal person. And I think we really should start getting some scientific research done on them. So, you know, so maybe we can try to fix them, you know, give them some medication or something because this is just fucking weird. But finally, last but definitely not least, least I don't even need an introduction for this one let me just read the conversation you think you can toy with her like that what you know what don't try to act stupid I really don't know Ali you fucking dipshit how dare you try to fucking blame your issues onto her Alicia who are you again Grrr. you fucking kidding you know who I am. I don't really remember. It doesn't matter. Listen, kid. You don't want to see my other side. I have a wolf inside me with a muzzle on. But the muzzle is about to come off. You broke her heart and I will break yours. She is a nice girl. How dare you use her like this? How come people like you get to date her? Then people like me have to sit in the shadows and be the shoulders to cry on. Listen, kid, I don't have time for fucking games. I am a nice guy, but when you make a nice guy angry, the world shakes. Don't do it again. LOL, okay. You will regret this the next full moon. You mess with me, you mess with the pack, bud. Fuck you. 
Get ready. What do I even say about this, dude? I can't believe this is- I think that guy's being serious. The guy's actually being serious. Like, Teen Wolf over here really just speaks for himself. I have nothing else to add to that conversation. But, I would like to place a bet that this guy has an anime profile picture on Twitter because this conversation is exactly how I imagine all the kids who have anime profile pictures are. Like, this is you. But anyways, that's it for the video, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something today. Please do not act like any of these individuals that we have examined today. It is not the correct way to act. So with that being said, be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out.